Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the north. More specifically, we are in Cincinnati, Ohio. I was headed, had an idea of what I wanted to film today. I was kind of headed in that direction. Then I spotted something careening down the highway, and I decided to, uh, to, to, to follow it a little bit, to stalk it, and, and, and hunt it down. And look at this. We found the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. Let's uh, let's go take a peek. Yeah, I just saw the uh, the, the drivers. Looks like they just hopped out, went inside the restaurant for some lunch. But uh, oh man, I've seen it before. But it's always exciting to uh, to see this headed down the uh, the highway, the Oscar Mayer. Okay, that guy very impatient he had to honk at me instead of just uh, going around me but uh, yeah look at that I think it's okay to uh, to peek in the window normally you wouldn't just uh, put your your camera up to a uh, to a car window but it's the Wienermobile I think it's I think it's allowed we get a little peek in the cockpit there you see the uh, brightly colored seats that have these uh, wieners there on the dashboard man it's funny me and Jim were just talking about this the other day they put out openings they actually put out openings for people who want to uh, drive the wiener mobile I guess wiener ambassadors I think is maybe that's what they call are they called wiener ambassadors but uh, yeah you can actually get a job uh, driving the wiener mobile around the country there's like tours of duty I forget what it is it's like six months or a year I would love to be able to drive in this um, I don't know if uh, I don't know if they would hire me because I obviously would have to do my own thing as well um, my carpetbagger adventures um, but man I would love if, if, the Oscar, if someone from the Oscar Mayer Wiener company is listening to me I think it would be amazing do a little cross promotion I could drive the Wiener mobile I could film my adventures. I don't know. Think about it. But uh, yeah, always fun just to, to see this, to come across this in the wild. There is a Wienermobile at the Henry Ford Museum in Detroit. But you know, it's 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 you know, it's always it's always a magnificent magnificent circumstance when you can stumble upon this in the wild. It looks like this Wienermobile actually from Wisconsin, the state I was born in. So rel relsh relish me is it saying relish me like as in put relish on me or relish me okay it's a pun because relish me like, re like appreciate me relish the Wienermobile but also relish because it's something you put on hot dogs and I will relish it let's just kind of take in the uh oh uh oh all right. Let's take in the beauty of the Wienermobile here. You can see the bottom part kind of looks more like a normal car, but I guess that is the bun of the Wienermobile. Let's walk around here and get a full, full view of its Wienery glory. The back of the Wiener here. It's hashtag keep it Oscar. Yeah, what an iconic and amazing vehicle here. Wow. Also over here we have a pig in a, uh, in a bird cage here. Now apparently there are pigs all throughout uh, the city here. Um, you know, a lot of different Cities will uh, will have a kind of art projects where they'll take one animal and uh, decorate it. Uh, different people will decorate it different ways and spread it around the city. We saw that in Enterprise, Alabama, with the Bull Weevil project. And here, apparently, Cincinnati used to be referred to as Porkopolis—not the official name, but a nickname because of the uh, meat packing industry here in Cincinnati. So I guess to pay homage to that, they have spread pigs out throughout the city. This particular pig here, I guess, in a bird cage 
with a uh, with a tiara on. I'm not sure exactly what this is supposed to represent, but uh, still a really cool uh, pig statue. And we have landed here in Westchester, Ohio. We are here in front of Enter Trainment Junction. Now that you see, this is a train-based attraction. This says they have the world's largest train display, which that's impressive. But also, I heard that there's actually a fun house inside of Entertainment Junction. So a train-based attraction, Entertainment. It's like entertainment instead. They put the word train in there because of the the train theme of the attraction. So let's check out Enter trainment junction you can hear train noises coming out of the front here you can see this front actually meant to look like a train station oh wow all right in the lobby here we have a little cafe area it's like a little some storefronts here it says tyler's hotel I guess like these are like uh, little rooms to be used for birthdays or whatnot. And then there's multiple, multiple uh, gift shops in here. So uh, Westchester Station with some gifts in there. And then uh, Junction Hobbies and Toys here. Oh, and look at this. A little train going around on top of this kiosk. I guess we go in here to buy our train ticket. We pass out through the train station here. Okay, and I guess we're entering the early period of railroad in the 1860s to the 1900s. Walking into the uh, massive model uh, railroad here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Here comes the train rolling through town there. And uh, they do have a scavenger hunt here where you can look for both Disney princesses. So you can see Cinderella there at the uh, train station and also uh, superheroes. You see Captain America actually standing there right in the center of town. Okay, yeah, this is pretty cool. I like how uh, immersive the uh, model train is. You kind of walk through the uh, the valley here with all the trains running beside you. Oh, it looks like we've had a landslide over here. You can see how it's crushed, crushed that home right there. the harbor here some boats big river boat over here this section here called imagination junction oh look at this uh this children's train ride here she ride the train there around the uh around the magic tree look at that magic tree now obviously this train is uh too small. It says the weight limit is 125 pounds. I'm a little bit above that, but uh, there's no reason that we can't uh, put a few quarters in and uh, and watch it go. Oh, there we go. It almost ran over my toe, so I wasn't paying attention. Oh yeah, look at that a little train right there around the. Uh, Around the magic tree. A little slow motion, relaxing train ride. Got a tree there, he's got some monkeys and koalas sitting on his head. Yeah, look at the, the little train there. It's got a little bear, little bear on front of it. Oh 
Oh, watch out. Look up there, I didn't notice that guy up there, the uh, conductor ominously looking over us. And here we have an official attempt at the Guinness World Records. It says here, the largest uh, memorabilia collection of Thomas and Friends. Um, I don't know, it's not clear whether or not uh, whether or not this is the Guinness World Record or if they're going to be attempting maybe to create a new record or um, if it's just in the process of being verified. But uh, yeah, I don't see any reason to not believe that this is the uh, world's largest uh, Thomas and Friends collection. We got the uh, little toy trains over here. Looks like there's a Thomas bed up on top. Some various Thomas items. I'll look down here. I never, I never watched this show when I was young. I think it may have. I think I may be a little too old for uh, for Thomas. I think there's. I think it's. There's been several shows featuring Thomas. I don't know the whole history of it. I know that. Uh, that Ringo Starr was in the show at one point, and George Carlin was, I think, the conductor at some point, which is pretty insane thinking of uh, George Carlin in a kid's show. Yeah, look at the, all the plushies there. We got Thomas pajamas, Thomas umbrellas back there, some uh, Thomas goggles. And here's a smaller, uh, version of the train set for uh, for the kids. I don't know if you have uh okay there's the buttons to activate oh that train's that train is soaring it's a fast train it's got a Pepsi it's a Pepsi train I guess we can welcome to the imagination jump okay got the inner train fired up that was loud. <laughs> well, let's head back into this massive model. I guess the largest uh, train set in the world, according to Entertainment Junction. Oh yeah, a train coming around the bend there. Oh yeah, look at all these trains. Everywhere you look, there's a train. Another Disney princess over there, the, uh, the girl from Brave. I don't know her name. I've never seen Brave, but I do know that is the uh, girl from the uh, Brave. If anyone know what, the, what her name is, leave a comment in the comment section. It says this section of the train set is the uh, 1940s and 50s. Oh, you can see all the, the factories, the uh, industry here. See the streetcar there. Oh yeah, this is really cool. Let's see. Oh, there goes another streetcar down the center there. But look at this Woolworths here on the corner. Look, it's just packed and bustling with people. Oh, that's super fun. See that spinning Coke bottle on top of that sign there. There's a little museum portion here talking about the uh, history of trains. And then above the museum, you can see the uh, train set expands over top there. So the houses there lit up, lit up at night. See the jail there. And it looks like there's actually uh, inmates there talking to pretty ladies through the fence. See the Fox Theater there. It says uh, Abbott and Costello and the Glenn Miller Orchestra. Let's be playing there tonight. Oh, look at that. We have a, a sky car there taking people up the mountain.
pass, pass, pass each other right there in the middle. Reminds me of the cars from uh, Ober Gatlinburg. And over here, have a uh, drive-in theater. So this is the Starlight drive-in theater there. You see people parked in their cars. What movie? What movie are they watching? Does anyone anyone recognize this movie? Leave a comment in the comment section. Now over here, apparently we can uh, climb up to the mezzanine and get a bird's eye view of the uh, of the train. That sounds pretty amazing. Yeah, look at that. See the train circling around the city in the back there. See the houses on the hill. Yeah, for this viewing platform, you can see almost the entire uh, train set. There's the city right there. You can see uh, some of the earlier parts we came through. Yeah, look at the, the train there up on top. And that, uh, that big bridge there. Oh, that warms my heart. You can see a Rock City barn there. Not a lot of Rock City barns left. Um, most of the ones that I, I have photographed and see myself are not there anymore. Um, I've heard there's less than 50 in existence, probably way less at this point. You can see over here the uh, waterfall running down that's actually filling the river down below. And up here on the mezzanine, you can uh, get a close look at this. It is Coney Island, the uh, Ohio version of Coney Island. And I have never been here. Um, and unfortunately, I heard recently that they're actually not opening for the uh, 2024 season. I don't know if that means that uh, they are finished, that they will never uh, open again. But uh, always sad to see uh, another classic amusement park to leave this world. Now look at that. Love the old wooden roller coaster, the Ferris wheel there. They actually have buttons here where you can fire up some of the rides. Let's, uh, let's get the Ferris wheel running. Oh yeah, see the Ferris wheel turning right there. Let's get... Uh, Let's get the rocket ride going as well, the rockets. Oh yeah, look at the rockets go there. Oh, that's so fun. <laughs> See the dark ride there, known as the haunted house. See the cars out in front. I think we're gonna see a log flume go uh, go splashing down here. Oh wow, that was that would be a super soggy <laughs> log ride. We got the wild mouse fired up here. This is the roller coaster, the style of roller coaster that I uh, lost my uh, lost my camera on. Woo! Look at that. Oh my goodness. All right, here's the Shooting Star roller coaster. The uh, headline attraction at uh, Ohio's Coney Island. Let's see. Uh, oh man, that is, that is a very speedy roller coaster. Here are they uh, coming back. Oh, here they go. This 
is the tumble bug here. Oh, you see the sun setting on Coney Island here. So you watch the uh, carousel. Now here's a little exhibit on uh, Cincinnati's Coney Island. With some uh, artifacts from the park. See these chalkware statues. These were usually used as prizes that you would win at the uh, at the uh, carnivals or amusement parks back in the day. A replica of the boat there. A purse with some of the attractions on it. Some old uh, old ride tickets. We made it back to ground level here. And uh, looks like it says that there is an incline or funicular railroad back there. Yeah, you can see the train coming down on the funicular railroad. Actually, uh, they have one of these in uh, Pittsburgh, and then also another one in Chattanooga that are both uh, both still operating. Let's have a train turntable down here and see if we operate the turntable here. Okay. You can see this would be like at the end of the track where they can uh, switch out switch out the trains see if it's uh if it's gonna load up uh load up a train here oh yeah there we go look at that it's loading a train onto the turntable there How they can switch tracks. It's like it's putting it in a different stall there. All right, and from here we head into the modern era. Oh, wow. That's towering skyscrapers there. Now the bustling cityscape here. Is this? I'm not sure if it's city this is supposed to be. Is this? Is this Cincinnati here? I really think this is cool. You have the different apartments there, while with the uh, see-through walls, so you can actually look and see what's going on in all these different apartments. Okay, I actually think this is uh, supposed to be Seattle. There, you can see the uh, Space Needle. Oh, look at this! The big giant crane over here is moving know, doing some uh, construction you can see that big red crane arm moving over top of the uh, buildings there see people going underground to the subway station there oh yeah I guess if you're still looking for Marvel characters you can see the uh, Hulk smashing right there. There's the uh, 3M company. They make tape. The section here is called the Great Train Expo. So apparently currently on display in the Great Train Expo is this marble collection. A collection of marbles. You can see the statue of little kids playing marbles there. When stopping into a train museum, I definitely did not expect there to be a marble museum hiding inside. There is marbles of every shape and size. You can see the marbles there that have animals inside. There's the technical names for the different styles of marbles. These are clam broths. And these are Indians. We have a history of marbles here. There are some Civil War era marbles, some 17th century Dutch marbles, and an 8th century Roman marble dug up in Venice, Italy. Yeah, you can see even the ceiling here covered in, uh, in dangling marbles as we uh, 
continue to take in the Marvel collection. I guess these are all different games that can be played with marbles. I guess there's I guess there's a lot you can do with marbles. I've never really stopped to think about it. And uh, presidential marbles over here. Okay, each marble has uh, the president's face in it. There's Harry S. Truman there. And it goes all the way from uh, George Washington to uh, Donald Trump there. Looks like they don't have a, a, uh, a Biden marble yet. See the wall of marbles there. Again. Her hands on it and feel the marble smooth. I do like the feeling of marbles on my hands. I must admit that. Here are some uranium marbles. Marbles made out of uranium. It says we're safe because it's placed behind this uh, behind this glass to protect us from the radiation from the uranium marbles. Imagine uh, little kids playing with these. Uh, radioactive marbles. That, that probably wasn't healthy. And here we have some sort of marble obstacle course. Fire that up. All right, see the marbles coming there from the top. This is like a uh, primitive a pinball machine before they developed flippers back when it was a game of chance instead of skill. What are we get? Oh, we only got 10 points. I am not good at these. The maze here. To work your marble through. Yeah, I find I find these to be very difficult. This might, this might take a while. Yeah, all these different games here that utilize marbles in order to function. Yeah, look at these. These are board games here, board game boxes of games that, uh, that use marbles, including Frog Game. Now at first this seemed a little random, but there is an exhibit on Neil Young here. But uh, apparently, I did not know this, Neil Young holds several patents for, uh, for model trains as he was a passionate model train enthusiast and actually invented several things pertaining to model trains. So apparently uh, Neil Young's son Ben has uh, cerebral palsy and he uh, designed equipment for operating, uh, that would make the operating of the train easier for his son. So that's pretty, pretty amazing. Then over here we have Neil Young's train set. So we press this button to operate. Oh, oh, there's, there's Neil Young's train right there. Neil Young's trains. Wow. And over here, there is an uh, actual train control panel. This would be one that we'd use to uh, control real trains. And here's a model train set that includes the Cincinnati Union Terminal. It's a really cool building. This is uh, the building that inspired the Hall of Justice from the DC Comics. And it actually currently is a set of museums inside this building. It's actually a really great, really great museum. I definitely uh, love my trip there. As we head back through the uh, big train set there, oh, you can see that hot air balloon. Hot air balloon coming back down to Earth there. So there's the train there crosses overhead. Yeah, this is a, this place is a lot of fun. I must I must say, a lot of fun. But just because we're done with the trains does not mean we're done here. Next up, we have the amazing fun house here at Entertainment Junction. The sign here says, I have a secret I would like to say. Someone told me just the other day, if you're quiet and take a little peek, you will find the magic that you seek. You can see this windows like all frosted over with ice. I guess we could take a peek inside. Oh, you can see Santa's elves hard at work in there. 
Look at this amazing circus mural here. I love that there's just giant gorillas running amok everywhere. Oh yeah, just a, a T-Rex in a hat just walking, walking through the train yard. It's a guy uh, battling a lion. And yeah, just these angry gorillas appear to be, uh, be everywhere. Look at them. We do have a uh, little model circus there with a uh, model freak show out in front. See all the sideshow banners. Take a peek inside the circus there. Okay, so there is all these different tents here at the Fun House. Uh, Clown College there. I guess we'll just start here with Curtain Chaos. All right, what is, where do we, where do we go? Is there, oh, we go through the curtain? Okay, it appears to be some sort of curtain maze. There's arrows telling us to go through the different curtains. Which arrow should we listen to? Let's see if we can curtail our way back in here. Oh, yeah, it is a curtain, it is a, a curtain maze. Oh, okay, that one, okay, there is, this one is, uh, that's a solid wall. So let's try it, that, that's a solid wall. We just came through that one. So I guess, this is our Huckleberry. There we'll keep, I don't know if going backwards is the best way or not, so let's try going forwards. Solid wall, solid wall, solid wall. This is a dead end. They fooled us. That's a dead end. Oh, that's not. This definitely is the most chaotic curtains I've ever dealt with. Man, this would be great. This would be great in a haunt. This uh, this curtain curtain setup here. Okay. Wall, not a wall. This is possibly trickier than a mirror maze. Could end up, could end up being stuck in the curtain maze literally all day. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Oh, what? I'm bumping into something. Oh no. Oh no. We have, uh, we've entered the punching bag room. Do we have to? There's only one thing to do. When you find yourself in a punching bag room, you gotta get that knuckle sandwich ready and you gotta try to punch, punch your way out. Punch, 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 punch. That's a solid wall. Okay, punch, 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 punch. Oh. All right, is this whole thing a dead end? Do we just gotta go back the way we came? All right. This is Feel like I'm backtracking. Uh, okay, this is uh, this is the point where uh, this is the point where we start to freak out because we're trapped in curtains. I think we came that way. This way, maybe. Wall. Not this way. There's like literally no way to tell if you've already been in a room. Hey, are you lost? I am lost. I am. I am lost. And that was not helpful. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let me out. Let me out. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> oh. Been in a room full of funhouse mirrors. What is this? Some sort of funhouse? Yes, they actually clearly stated this was some sort of fun house. But seriously, I'm, I'm already start panicking here. Where, how do I get out? <laughs> this, is, this is distressing. What's this say? Dang, dead end? Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my gosh. Do we make it? Is this the way out or is this the way we came in? No, we came out, okay. We failed, we came out the entrance. We uh, should have came out this way, the exit. But you know what? You know what? I'm gonna, 
I'm just gonna call this a victory either way. Next up, Clown College. This is uh, supports the clown here. This is Lily. Whoa, what hat was that? Okay, plays uh, it plays music when you hit uh, Lily there. Okay, and uh, Tina, Tina here. Let's push the button for Tina. Oh, look at that! She blows her nose. <laughs> and then what does Bob do? Oh, not Bob. I said Bob. This is Bobo. I'm sorry, Bobo. I didn't mean to call you Bob. <laughs> He just makes a little train toot. It's Juju here. Oh, her eyes just grow, glow like she's some sort of uh, reptilian. Okay, Billy, what you got for us? Oh, he shot a little compressed air there out of his out of his flower. And Lola. Again, just some weird noises. This is the Ames room, where you can apparently change sizes depending on which corner you stand in. Okay, so standing in this corner, you can see me, it's the same height as this clown. But as I stand over in this corner, you can see I'm much tinier. I've become much tinier than the clown. These are the clowns' dressing rooms here. Oh, this is the uh, tilt room here. All right, we've entered the tilt room here. Just notice there's a spinning umbrella on the ceiling. And uh, as we walk over here, it says clowns need to learn to juggle, but Tina is having trouble. Can you help? So we lift. This right here. Oh, look at that. You can see the balls actually rolling uphill. That's insane. goodness after uh, going through that curtain maze I don't know if I'm really in the mood for a uh, mirror maze but uh, what the heck let's let's go for it oh hello there now, I've mentioned this before that uh, the trick or at least one of the tricks I use in mirror mazes is you look at your feet you hold your feet up to the mirror and you can see the reflection really easy so that way you can know what's a pathway and what is a mirror. Also, you can look for smudges on the mirror. You know, a lot of times people come in the mirror mazes, they put their hands in front of them, which you're not supposed to do. That's a breach of mirror etiquette, but it's a kind of a tell 
on uh, what's a pathway. It's got like a little, little, little smudge on it. You know that uh, you cannot, you cannot walk through it. Okay, apparently there is uh, surprises here or jump scares in uh, the mirror maze we have. I guess one of Santa's elves. It says Mrs. Claus's cookies right there. Huh. I don't know if there's gonna be any more jump scares, but uh, there we go. I feel like I have spent more time in mirror mazes than possibly, possibly any person on earth. I don't know. That may be an audacious claim, but I have spent a lot of time lost in mirror mazes. See, this is a dead end. When you can see six of yourself, that means that there's a dead end. Is this, we found our way out? Okay, once again, once again, we have uh, ended up coming out the entrance, but you know what, I, uh, again, I'm just gonna call it a win. Then we're heading into something known as Outer Limits, Journey Through the Black Hole. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a vortex tunnel. Look at this. The vortex tunnel gets too intense, you just close your eyes. Oh, we're in some sort of far out space room here. Oh, look at that, the planets rotating there. Weird. All right, made it into some sort of star field here. We pass through. Ah! What was that? I see a blast of compressed air, flashing lights. Oh my gosh! And we have found the black hole, and it is a compression tunnel. Oh my goodness! All right, let's get let's get compressed. Hope there's not another jump scare on the end of this. Okay. We have completed the outer limits. One more attraction here, the Crazy Caper. Not sure exactly what this is here. Oh, wait, oh, fart noises? I just got jump scared by a fart. That's great. Can you grab the key and go? Okay, there's the key. I'm gonna grab it, okay. Okay, passes through my fingers. It's, a, it's some sort of trick. The zap zone, doing these metal mazes that I'm terrible at. Look, okay, that's how far I got. I tell you, I'm not good at these. All right, two key, if you dare. I always dare. Oh, intruder oh. alert! Oh, intruder alert! Little, little compressed air things on the floor. You can see them there. Little compressed air nodules. And what is this? Is this another mirror maze? Hop a letter. What is this? We step on the A? B? B? We gotta go through the whole alphabet? C? Okay, I think I won. And what's this? Oh! Ground is vibrating. Is that the key? Can we grab it this time? I'm afraid it's. This is mean. Let's see if I get it now. Oh, jeez. And no, Zoltar, I did not. I did not forget about you. I never do. So uh, this is an old school quarter operated Zoltar. I don't know if I've seen one in a while that just runs on just quarters. Come closer and listen to what Zoltar has to tell you. Dream as if you'll live forever. Live as if you'll die today. That's right. You must live your Good days advice. as if they were your last. Because one day, they will be. You know what I mean. So go on, have fun, and surrender more coins for more wisdom from the great Zoltar. We'll take a few shots here at the uh, Sideshow Shooting Gallery as well. This one's 50 cents here. 
shoot as many targets as you can in 45 seconds. 45 seconds. In three, two, one. You get the pie spinning there. There we go. Let's get judged by Uncle Sam. It says, shake with Uncle Sam to only 50 cents. He will tell you the strength of your personality. I've always wondered how strong my personality is. Now is the uh, time to find out. Put a few quarters in there. Then we got to shake Uncle Sam's hand. And what's it say? What you say, Uncle Sam? What you gonna give me? Hot stuff. Uncle Sam thinks I'm hot stuff. All right, since we've been, uh, had our personality judged by Uncle Sam, I guess we should test out our love here on the, uh, on the love tester. I got 50 cents. I put my palm there, press my palm down, and okay, I'm naughty, but nice. Very nice, very evil. And fun was had by all. I think we should add a uh, smashed penny to our collection. Well, they have several uh, choices here, you get a train, you can get the uh, the name there, Entertainment Junction, or you get one from the amazing Funhouse there. And I only have one penny. I was only able to find one penny, and it's an old nasty penny too. So I don't even know if this is going to turn out, but I enjoyed the Funhouse. Let's do uh, let's do the Funhouse here. Put the penny there. Quarter, quarter. There we go. And it's a old school manual one. There we go. You can you can feel the moment when the penny when the penny begins being smashed. All right. Let's see if that nasty penny made a made a good flattened penny. Okay. So in some ways, like the the gunk on the penny almost helps like give the uh, give the letters more definition. What do you guys like? Do you like uh, putting a nice shiny penny in a penny smasher, or do you like putting a gunky, gross, old, nasty penny in a penny smasher? All right, it is pretty rainy out here. Probably gonna have to make a mad dash to uh, to the car. Oh my gosh, gotta get out of the rain here. Oh my goodness. So a great, a great train-based attraction here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, definitely love the the, the big, all-encompassing, you know, kind of walk through train display you're kind of walking through the mountains through the tunnels and the train like sets like all around you really cool and then they threw in just a crazy wacky fun house at the end just just for the fun of it so definitely uh definitely liked this attraction uh, quite a bit definitely a worth if you like trains if you like fun houses i think this is the place for you but now it is time it's time to leave ohio time to start heading Westward, we are uh, going to be traveling to St. Louis, Missouri for my annual visit to the Trans World Haunted House Trade Show. Um, looking forward to it. I'm planning on spending uh, the whole uh, length of the show there. Um, I got a hotel lined up uh, in St. Louis um, for, uh, I think for like four days, I'm going to be, uh, be headed, uh, be checking in, uh, not tonight, but tomorrow night. Tonight we're going to kind of see how far we can get, maybe make it a few hours towards, uh, St. Louis, and then we will, uh, wake up tomorrow and, and make the final leg of the trip to St. Louis, and then we'll be, uh, spending some time enjoying St. Louis, enjoying the festivities that surround Trans World. Again, one of my favorite events of the year. So I hope you guys uh, will stay tuned. I hope you guys will enjoy my uh, my visit to Trans World this year. Always a highlight um, of the year for me. So um, thank you guys for watching 
thank you guys for following along on this, uh, this these adventures of mine. Uh, I do appreciate it, of course. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe, if you'd like to like the videos, if you'd like to tell your friends about them, uh, please do. I'm trying to uh, trying to get to half a million viewers. I don't. Th I've, I've I've decided that I'm probably never, ever, ever going to get a million view, a million subscribers on this channel. But I think I might be able to get to half a million. So if you guys would help me out there, uh, please subscribe. If you're planning on watching, don't don't subscribe because you feel sorry for me. Subscribe because because you want to. Uh, if there's other ways you want to help out the channel, consider supporting on Patreon. $3 or more. Get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop and doing personalized messages on Cameo. Of course, all those things help keep this entertainment on the track. <laughs> this boat in the water. And this dirigible in the air. Till next time, my friends. This one's, it's in the bag.